Okay, anatomy of the if statement. Uh, the if statement or syntax is relatively simple. You've got three components of the formula, your logical test, your value if true, and your value if false. Your logical test is basically any test that results in either true or false. So you could say uh, test that the value of A1 equals Google, or that the numerical value in B2 is less than 100. You could also incorporate more complicated formulas here. You could say if the False. Um, so let's jump into Excel and do a hands-on demo. Uh, open the Section 3 Logical Operators document and we'll work from there. Um, just to give you a quick background of what we're looking at, we've got weather data from a station at Boston Logan Airport. Um, don't pay too much attention because I, I made up some of these numbers, but you get the idea. Um, we've got latitude, longitude, date, and month. Uh, we also have temperature and precipitation uh, in Fahrenheit and millimeters, respectively. Um, and from that basic information, we're going to be building out additional categorical variables like freeze, climate, precipitation type, conditions, etc., um, using logical operators in the rest of this section. Uh, for this lecture, we're going to start with column I, the freeze column. And all we want to do here is say, um, let's create a flag or a binary variable that equals yes if the temperature is freezing, in other words, if it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, otherwise return no. So I'm going to Type the less than 32. So that's my test. I'm going to hit comma. Now I need to input the value if true. Since I want text here, I need to surround it in quotes. And I'm just going to type yes. Comma again brings me to the value if false piece. Same idea. I'm going to type no, surround it in quotes, and then close. to fixing it um, and that's because when I apply this formula down I want my reference to change from G2 to G3 G4 um, because I always wanted to refer to the proper temperature in the proper row um, so as you can see I double click the lower right corner of the formula cell and it has populated all the values down as far as there's data which is exactly what I want um, now just to kind of spot check that it's working properly, as you can see we have some cases of missing data and NA values. Uh, don't worry, that was intentional. We'll deal with that momentarily. But based on the values that I do have, 37 degrees is no because it's above freezing. 12 and 23 are both below freezing. It all looks good. So there you go, basic example of using the if statement.